Hey guys, and welcome back. For those of you joining for the first time, I am a professional game dev. And this is my devlog, where I am making a retro anime inspired Hotline Miami style samurai game. It's pretty sick. And now let me show you what is new with the game this week. First of all, we got two new combat animations. You got your sword out in both of them. One of them is your standard running animation, and the other one is a new dashing animation. Both of them quite sick indeed. On the gameplay side of things, I've been busy balancing the game. I've been wanting to go through each level one by one and make sure the difficulty is on par, smooth out any rough edges, and make sure that all the interactions between the mechanics are as good as they can be. So a few changes I made this week. One is that objects that get kicked at you by enemies can now hit you even while you're dashing. So that makes them a lot more dangerous and gives them a much more important place in the gameplay. And your projectile items, like the shuriken thing that you can throw here, it can be used now to block kicked objects and I have made it so that you can use items while you're recovering after you got hit by a kicked object so that you still have a chance of recovering in case you made a mistake. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to make sense with all of the items but right now I'm liking the feeling of it so I'm going to play around with that. And as I mentioned I'm going through the levels one by one and balancing them for difficulty and whatnot so I've got a revised version of the first level of the game here. I'm going to play you some footage from it and the music you're going to hear in the background is a new track that we just produced. I think it's the best one we've got yet gameplay wise. It's the closest to the feeling that I was hoping for, so I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like regular weekly updates on the game's progress. So earlier this week I was hanging out with a buddy of mine and he told me that he thought the production quality on my YouTube videos has gone down recently. So I looked him straight in the eye and I said, what the fuck did you just say to me, you fucking bitch? And then he got up all my face and he was like, you heard what I said, motherfucker? And then he threw his right hook at me and I was like, oh shit. I dodged out of the way, gave him the one-two jab and then finished him off with the K.O. No, but actually he said that to me and I was like, oh really? So what kind of brilliant, wise life advice do I have for you guys this week? A lot of people tell you to save up for retirement, you know, invest your money, make sure it grows over time so you got a nice bird's nest or whatever the fuck it's called. Personally, I think you should spend all your money. Just piss that shit away. I mean, you're young. What are you gonna do when you're 70 years old and you have a million dollars or however much you saved up? You're gonna sit around probably watching TV, going fishing or some shit. You know how much money you need for that? Probably like a hundred bucks a month, okay? That's basically it. But right here, right now, while you're young, you wanna travel, you wanna explore the world, try new things, take big risks. That's what you need money for. We'll find out in about 40 years whether or not I agree with this advice still. Okay, so you got this Apple Vision Pro Quest 3. I'm probably a little late on these things, but in any case, I don't think this stuff is gonna catch on because you have to wear this big bulky headset. I think even if they put that shit in like regular sunglasses, why would you use it? It's basically like a phone, but you have to walk around with this thing on your face all the time. I think it's garbage, but I do think it'll catch on when it becomes like a neural chip that you can put inside of your brain. And then I was thinking, wouldn't that be a really good Black Mirror episode. Imagine you get one of these chips installed in your brain so you have direct access to social media at all times, but then one day your chip malfunctions and you can't control it anymore. And you have to spend the rest of your life just getting nonstop Facebook notifications popping up in your fucking brain and you can't turn that shit off. And of course, AI has been all the raid recently. Everyone's talking about the extinction potential or the existential threat of the existence of AI in the future. Personally, I honestly think it's all overblown. But I will say that I don't even care about the fact that I'm gonna die one day, but what I do think a lot about is how I really just wanna know how things turn out. Do we go extinct in a nuclear war? Does AI eventually become conscious and kill us all? Do we actually manage to progress significantly in the future and get to a Star Trek utopia-like state? Here's what I want them to do. I want to have my body frozen until it's possible for them to revive me. And then right at the moment when they believe humanity is going to go extinct, I want them to revive me, give me a quick update on everything that happened, and I can be like, oh, nice. 
satisfying conclusion, right? And then refreeze me or just whatever, put a bullet in my head or something. That's good enough. All right, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, like and subscribe if you want regular updates on the game. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.